Hi, I'm Gordon Wettstein. I'm an associate professor of electrical engineering where I lead the Stanford Computational Imaging Lab. As part of the Information Systems Lab, our research focuses on combining physics and AI in a meaningful way. For example, we develop new types of computational cameras that help autonomous cars perceive their environment better. We work on algorithms that make the photographs of your cell phone look better. We work on new types of displays that help make AR and VR displays be more perceptually realistic and visually comfortable. And we work on new types of neural rendering algorithms that capture the structure of 3D scenes and allow us to render and generate novel types of 3D scenes for computer graphics and computer vision applications like the metaverse. A lot of the research on new types of cameras, displays, and rendering algorithms that we do in the lab are fundamental building blocks of the metaverse. And as such, we collaborate closely with our friends and colleagues at Meta, Google, Samsung, and Apple, and other big companies to bring this closer to productization. We also had a couple of startup companies coming out of our lab that continue to commercialize this fundamental research that we're doing here in the lab. Let me give you an example of a specific project we recently worked on. You may have heard of LiDAR systems. These are imaging systems used with autonomous cars and help them see their 3D environment. They use pulse lasers and shoot short pulses of light into the scene and detect how long it takes for these pulses to return to the camera. It's used to build a 3D map around the car and help it perceive its environment. We use the same type of hardware, but develop more sophisticated algorithms around that to analyze how light pulses uh, behave when they bounce around multiple times in a scene, for example, behind a corner and then come back to the camera. So we've been building cameras that basically see around corners. You can imagine an autonomous car of the future that uses this uh, to be more safe because it can see further and around corners. Moving forward, my lab will continue to push the frontier of camera, display, and neural rendering technology. If I were to describe double E in three words, then it would be physics plus AI. How did I get into double E? Well, my background is actually mostly in CS, but I've always been fascinated by developing algorithms that drive something physical, something that you can touch, like driving a car or rendering an image for computer graphics. And I've also been really good at math my entire life. So I want to put these equations to good use and produce something physical, something tangible, or create something. What's my favorite hangout spot on campus? Well, if I'm not in the office or in the lab, I'm typically at Coupa Cafe, enjoying a latte, or digging in the sand with my sons on a playground somewhere close by.